Hello there, everyone. We've come to lesson 124. Now, I keep reminding all of us that this is about practicing and not understanding. Also, you notice that these lessons use present tense, and there's purpose to that, because if we say, in the future sometime, I will have this experience, it will just continue always being in the future. Whatever we say is always a present moment. And remember, these things that we are saying and believing and earnestly paying attention to are providing the raw material for our rewiring. Alrighty, so here we go. Let me remember I am one with God. I am one with love. I am love. This is very much like the lesson that's entitled, I am as God created me, which is as love. So many, many, many ways of coming at the very same idea. So today we're going to give thanks for our identity in God, in our reality as love. Our home, in other words, the experience that's our actual norm, is safe, Protection is guaranteed in everything we do. We have the power and strength available for anything that we take on, and we can fail in nothing. Everything we touch takes on a shining light that blesses and heals. And at one with love, being love, and joined with everything else, we go our way rejoicing with the idea that love goes with us everywhere. How could it not? Love is what we are. That's like trying to be separated from your shadow when you're out in the sun. It just doesn't go away. It's right there. Okay, how holy are our minds? Remember, holy means we derive from the divine. So our minds are divine, and everything we see reflects this holiness with the mind once we realize that love is what we are. And how easily do the errors disappear and death give place to everlasting life? Once again, it gets to be poetic. Our shining footprints, all the things that we bring to bear in our life as it unfolds, points the way to truth. For God or love is our companion, of course, as we walk the world a little while. And those who come to follow us will recognize the way because the light we carry stays behind even though it remains with us as we continue on. Now, what we receive is our eternal gift to those who follow after and to those who went before or are with us right now <laughs> and love the equal love with which we were created smiles on us and offers us this happiness we gave. You see, this doesn't have anything to do with time or distance. It refers to that several times. So when we accept the loving presence that we are, everything benefits, whether we consider it a past or future or somewhere else as compared to here. So today we're not going to doubt his love for us, nor question this protection and care, and we're not going to let any crazy little meaningless ego anxieties come between our faith and our eventual awareness of this presence of love. This presence is a tangible, amazing thing. It's not an intellectual idea. So we are one with him today. We are one with love today. And we're going to feel this. The idea is we feel it now, present tense. Keep everything in the present tense. Our minds contain these loving thoughts, and our eyes behold loveliness in everything we look upon. Today we see only the loving and the lovable. This is selective perception at work. This is what I decide I want to see. I insist on seeing that only the loving exists underneath whatever other appearances there may be. Then it goes on to speak of appearances. We see it in the appearances of pain, and pain gives way to peace. We see this love in the frantic, the sad, the distressed, the lonely, the afraid, who suddenly somehow are restored to tranquility and peace of mind. We see it in the dying and the dead as well, and they are restored to life. 
All of this we see because we saw it first within ourselves. We keep changing our minds about what we are and what we have access to. No miracle can ever be denied to those who know they are one with love, because after all, a miracle is that shift in perception that allows us to be intimately aware of love's presence. So no thought of theirs, but has the power to heal all forms of suffering. Again, in times gone by, times yet to come, those who are here now, some other place, right here, see time and distance don't have anything to do with anything because we all are actually one consciousness right now that doesn't have anything to do with time. That's part of the invention in the hallucination where we appear to be. So we join in this awareness, this awareness that love is all there is. As we say, we are one with love. And in these words, we actually can experience feeling saved and healed. And we can save and heal accordingly. You see, we have accepted and now we can give. Once again, giving and receiving and offering and keeping, all of these are central all the way through here. This is how we manage to get out of the hallucination we find ourselves in. We keep giving love, giving love, giving love until finally we wake up. Because we want to keep these gifts, we give them away. All righty. In our experience, the world is freed when we allow ourselves to be free. As we deny our separation from the Father, in other words, we're denying that our ego, little invention, ever had any ultimate existence in the first place. So I'm denying that the ego is my primary identity. And as I do everything is healed. So peace to us today. And we want to secure that peace by practicing awareness that we are one with love. We are one with what created us. We are an expression of love. So sometime today, give a half an hour to this idea that we actually are one with love. Love is what we are. The presence of us is the presence of love. And it says, this is the first time we're going to have you do a half an hour with no particular instructions. Just be quiet. Know that you're going to be getting ideas. You will be spoken to, since it uses that language, but you will get a sense of things when this is what you want. I want to experience the truth of this oneness today. It says, that's all you have to do. Just be quiet, listen, and things will come. And then it reminds us and reassures us, your benefit is not going to be less if it seems to you like nothing happens. We might not be ready to accept this today, yet sometime, somewhere, it will dawn on us and we will not fail to recognize it when it does. So this half hour we're going to think was uh, framed in gold. Now this gets to be obviously a metaphor with every minute like a diamond set around the mirror that this exercise will offer you, the mirror obviously seeing yourself reflected in the world, and you will see Christ's face upon it in reflection of your own. It's trying to use ideas or something that we can relate to to express the tremendous value to us. So, Perhaps today, perhaps tomorrow, we will see our own transfiguration as we look at our normal everyday world. Now remember, transfiguration is that sudden emanation of radiance, that suddenly seeing the light in everything. So when you're ready, we're going to find that this occurs. It's in our minds waiting to be found. This radiance is in our minds. And we're going to remember then the thoughts that we're thinking today. Thankfully aware, no time was ever better spent. Perhaps today, perhaps tomorrow, you will look around you into your world and understand this sinless, exquisite, innocent, beautiful light you see belongs to you. The loveliness you look on is your own. 
So count this half hour that you're willing to just be quiet and listen to what happens as your gift to God in certainty that the return will be a sense of love you cannot understand, a joy too deep to comprehend, a sight that's just too holy for the body's eyes to see. And yet, you can be sure that someday, perhaps today, perhaps tomorrow, at some point, you will understand and comprehend and see. You are seeing the truth of you. So add further jewels to the golden frame, again, to try to indicate the value of this practice to us by hourly repeating, Let me remember I am one with God. I am love itself. At one with all my brothers and myself. What I actually am in everlasting holiness and peace. Such an important idea, as are they all. So I hope you have a wonderful, peaceful practice and you really let these words sink in and keep that rewiring going. Have a great day. Goodbye.